Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speedball video in The Sims 4. I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. We're doing an apartment renovation today because I realised it's been around three months since I did my last apartment on the channel and I just thought it's been far too long and I was just feeling really inspired to do one so we are in Masai my shoe in the 1312 21 chic street apartment also known as penny pizzazz's apartment and we are turning this apartment into a young family apartment so i envisioned there's two parents there's an infant and then possibly like a child like quite a young child sim is kind of the dynamic that i based this apartment around so we do have two separate bedrooms in this unit i'm i'm not surprised i was able to do this because i've done a, a floor plan that's been relatively similar to this in the past so i'm not too surprised that i was able to do this but yeah we've got two bedrooms one bathroom and then we have like um sort of an open plan living room kitchen dining space so i absolutely love how this apartment turned out i was able to use a variety of different colors and items to really achieve the look that i was going for and i just can't wait to share this with you all but i also feel like i know it's only been like less than a week since my last upload I feel like I haven't really touched base with any of you, so how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. I've just got over a cold. I don't know if anybody is aware of this. I've just got over a cold. And then this morning I woke up and my glands in my throat were so, like, they were so sore. <laughs> I just thought, please let me catch a break here. But luckily they've been, they've sort of subsided over the duration of the day with some painkillers. So I was actually able to do this voiceover. I was filming for, I don't even know if I can say anything about it. I was filming for something else yesterday that you're never going to see on the channel, but you may see around. Let's just say that. So I filmed yesterday and I was so happy that I did because waking up this morning with swollen glands was not ideal at all and I just thought I'm so glad I was able to film yesterday when I was feeling okay but anyway back to the apartment so as you can see we are really going for like a very family oriented build here I'm so obsessed with it you know I love playing with vibrant colors and clutter and family oriented builds apartments or houses really allow me to showcase this and yeah, I'm just really happy with how this came out. It's such a fun apartment. This is probably one of my favorite apartment units to renovate. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite apartment unit is. I feel like I need to be doing more apartments in Evergreen Harbor. I did a build uh, two weekends ago now, I think. I'll pop a card in the right-hand corner for you. I did a build there in Evergreen Harbor, <laughs> that is. And I did two houses on one lot. And the, the entire idea was to create to more like realistic houses, i.e. houses that you are more likely to just see on your travels, you know, like just the average house. And that's the last time I built an Evergreen Harbor, but for some reason I tend to avoid the apartments and there's no real reason for that. It's just, I prefer, I think, the apartments in San Myshuno. And now that we can change the windows and the window placement in any apartment, it just allows you to put your own stamp on things and really personalize the build. And as you can see, I did use, I don't think I've mentioned it, I used the windows from the Get Famous pack. <laughs> I'm saying that with such a question mark. I'm almost 100% positive they're from the Get Famous pack. <laughs> and I just figured again, going for that more sort of realistic, homey, family friendly look. And I think they work really well actually and i'm not entirely sure why the apartment next door has the same windows oh i know why i know exactly why because i was de <laughs> i was decorating that apartment unit i was turning it into like a trash department and whilst i i do kind of look at love sorry how it turned out i i don't know there was just something about it that wasn't really working for me so <laughs> i ended up scrapping the footage this is my third apartment renovation between last night and today, which is Saturday evening or late afternoon, depending on what you would class 5 p.m. as. Anyway, and I was doing that apartment yesterday and I spent so long <laughs> adding all of these details and things like that. And then it just, I don't know, there was something about it that just didn't speak to me. And I just thought, I need to do like a family friendly apartment like right now because... <laughs> 
that's just where my comfort zone is it's where like my creativity tends to, tends to come through a little bit more so yeah this is this is what we ended up coming up with i really love the end result i love all the clutter and also i did fully play test this apartment as well so you sims are able to sit on the sofas they can watch tv they can use everything in the bathroom they can cook they can use both the beds everything it, it worked out really well and it was really funny actually because when i was play testing the child's bedroom which we'll get onto in just a moment so i'll talk a little bit more about it when we get onto that but i to, t to test the built-in wardrobe which i don't know if you noticed that at the beginning i i left room in both the main bedroom and the child's bedroom for a built-in wardrobe to play test the wardrobe my, my sim was feeling really sad for some reason i'm not entirely sure why it's just a random sim that i created for this particular save and she was feeling really sad so the way that i play tested the wardrobe was to let her cry in the wardrobe <laughs> which i didn't even know was a thing and i felt so bad but i just found it so funny at the same time because i was like oh classic sims <laughs> I <laughs> just found it really hilarious. So yeah, everything's fully play tested. Everything works. I'm very conscious that particularly with a cluttered apartment or a, a cluttered anything really, but particularly a cluttered space that's as small as this, because actually there's no real, there's no room that's big. I mean, the main bedroom's kind of big, but actually when you look at everything else, it's kind of on the small side. It's so important for me to play test everything because you just think well i don't want you to, to to download this apartment and then you sims can't make a meal or they can't use the fridge or they can't get in the bed or they can't use the wardrobes so i was like i feel like i need to play test this so yeah it is fully play tested <laughs> but yeah i didn't really know what to do with this hallway here so i kept it relatively simple how it is what i would class it as and then this bedroom is so cute it took me such a long time to figure out which bed i wanted to use but once i landed on this one from the horse ranch pack with the little sheep on it i was like oh my gosh this is so cute i haven't used this bed in so long and i just thought yes i need to use this bed so i ended up pairing this with like some pastel pink accents i think i throw some like purples in here as well and just really make it really quite girly and i i really do i just love how this bedroom looks i think it looks absolutely fantastic i used a wide variety of packs to achieve the look as i did with the rest of the build but i feel like i'm about due um a pack restricted build at some point so please drop any comments down below are there any specific packs particular packs that you'd like me to look at or focus on drop me some comments down below whatever you want to do because i think our next video is going to be more of like a real-time video because it seems like it's been a while since i've done one of those it's been a couple of weeks i've been doing a few speed builds in between just because of work commitments and then other projects that i'm working on and speed builds just sometimes fit in a little bit better but yeah i think our next build which is likely going to be next weekend is going to be a real time build and i i've kind of decided what i want to do but if anyone has any ideas that they want to throw my way i may well change my mind <laughs> as to what i would like to do but anyway i decided i wanted to try and add a bookshelf in here and i decided that it was just too cramped it's, it's the, the room's too small so i just ended up adding a little chair from base game in here with a little bear swatch i i just love this so much and <laughs> i put some extra posters on the wall and then i add a really cute um hanging light i'm pretty sure it's from high school years and it matches the curtains beautifully because they're also from high school years and i really like how they look sized down with these particular windows. I just think they look really nice. And then we move on to the main bedroom, which is this room here. So I did envision a family of four, two parents, a child and an infant, as I was mentioning at the beginning. So there is a crib or a cot in here, whatever you, however you wanna call it. And this room is probably more calm calm, using the air bunnies here, than the rest of the house. I tend to do this with family apartments that are a little bit chaotic because I, I like to imagine that the parents kind of want a more tranquil space <laughs> for their bedroom. So that's kind of what I was thinking for this room. So here you can see the cot in the corner. I just add some baby clutter and then I, I just pretty much 
add some final touches and that's pretty much it but I really hope you enjoyed this apartment build I very much enjoyed building this but if you would like to download this from the gallery you can do my origin ideas Rachel Ped tray files as always are linked down in the description box just down below you can get them for free from sim file share but thank you so much everyone for joining me here today you all take care and I will see you again next time bye